Hello guys and welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's projects. First thing we're gonna tackle is the crafting surface and I'm gonna remove this paper and I'm also gonna remove that one so we can paint it. Now I'm gonna take Waverly white chalk paint and we're gonna paint it completely in that white chalk paint because I wanna give it a cleaner look to my desk so it looks better on our videos. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm gonna paint all of it, give it a good first coat like you see me doing here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint all of that but giving it long brush strokes so we don't get those lines. Now you can see it here, it looks like wood. I would have loved to leave it like that but I gave it a second coat on that paint and I left a part of it looking like that. You will see it a little bit later. Now let's jump into the second coat. So I'm going to grab the same paint and we're going to start brushing it and as you can see we are losing that beautiful whitewashed kind of wood effect that I created and that made me really sad. <laughs> but as I said I'm going to give it that paint color in a part of the desk and the other one would look like that. Now this is the second coat and as you can see there's the part that I left. Now I got inspired by my beautiful friend Donna and I'm gonna make the concrete she made on a vase. She made it on a candle I think, no that was a small vase. So I'm mixing some gray paint and a little bit of baking soda. <laughs> yeah, baking soda. <laughs> and we're gonna mix it really nicely until we create a concrete kind of texture. And after that we're gonna paint it on our surface. I'm using this long can kind of thing that I had with cookies, yeah, <laughs> and I ate them all. <laughs> and I'm gonna paint it using that paint. And when I saw Donna do that, I was in love with the vase she created. It was like a container. I was so in love with it. So I had to recreate it. And I love this texture. It looks so beautiful. Now we let it dry after we apply it. And then I'm going to take the dowels and I'm going to put those dowels over there. And it's perfect to store dowels. Look. This is part of the Craft Room Organization Challenge hosted by my friends Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs, Jamie from Simple Root Simple Living, and Annie from Indie Annie Jones. In the description box down below you're gonna find the links to their channels and also the link to the playlist so you can go and check out what everyone else created for this challenge. And you can go and check their channels because I know you're gonna love them if you haven't seen them. So go and check everyone out. Remember that if you like modern farmhouse, bow decor, and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here. So subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. Also, check me out on my social media so we can be friends over there and have lots of fun. And you can see what I post over there. <laughs> Now it's time to bring out those tools. So I'm taking a piece of wood and I'm marking it. And now I'm gonna take my jigsaw and I'm gonna cut one piece of wood out of that old sign that I had from Christmas. Yeah, you will see that. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut a piece of that sign or wood. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna drill a couple of holes and I'm having issues because I don't have battery on my drill, but I'm gonna keep on working with that. <laughs> So we're going to continue drilling and that size of drill bit is the same size of my dowels. So I'm going to continue drilling like that and as you can see I didn't have any battery. <laughs> but I'm going to continue now that I have a little bit more <laughs> drilling that or those holes so we can fit our dowels over there. After we finish and we have small indentation on our board I'm gonna cut my dowel in half and that's six inches after I cut them I'm gonna add a little bit of gorilla wood glue 
And I'm gonna glue those dowels to the board, just like that. Let it dry really nicely. Clean up the excess wood glue. And then we're gonna let it dry really nicely. We're gonna use this to add ribbon. Yes, it's so easy to have them over there. <laughs> And the last thing is this that I found at a thrift store and I'm gonna paint it using this spray paint from Walmart and we will have a new paint brush holder. Alrighty, to the part of the organization, I have a basket where I put all of my floral, including that garland that I used to stage, 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 <laughs> sometimes my projects. And as you can see, I put all of my floral over there together so I have them at hand. And here you can see the vase we created with the dowels. And to the side, I have this that it was from a lantern and I have my tape over there. Over here, we have the brush organizer and it works perfectly for all of my brushes. And now we have the beads, some of my beads, <laughs> that are having a couple of butter, well, bottles. <laughs> and we have the ribbon organizer. I just love this piece. Over here, we have that that I put all of my Twizzlers, pliers, and all of that. My glue gun and some glue sticks and my clamps and also my finger protectors. <laughs> and over here, we have all the paint that I have that it's been used. <laughs> And I have them on a two-year trade, as you can see. I just have the chalk paint on the top, the acrylic ones on the bottom, and I have them organized there so I can grab them and start painting. And this is how everything look. I just want something simple and clean where I can get everything I need or everything that I'm using right now for the season as we are creating Valentine's decor. So I wanna have everything together and that's what I came up with. Just the latter kind of thingy <laughs> with the things that I use every day to create my DIYs. And as you can see, I have them organized and they are really easy to grab and just use and make my crafts. And as you can see, the white desk is looking beautiful <laughs> i'm in love with it and i'm giving you a closer look so you can see how i arrange my tear tray you can do it two or three tiers depending on how much paint you have and this works as a charm this is awesome <laughs> and another look of this remember that in the description box down below i'm gonna leave you the link to the playlist and also to all of our challenge hosts i just want to take this opportunity to thank them because they gave me the necessary motivation i needed to create a beautiful crafting space i was in a creative struggle <laughs> i was having issues with it <laughs> but now i have a beautiful crafting space and it's just easier to create over here now remember you will find the link playlist and also to the hosts go and check them out and if you like it hit the thumbs up if you love it subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos take care my beautiful friends bye bye